The Satro Problem Solving Challenge is an annual after school event where teams of six students in key stage groups three to five are entered into one of five area heats to compete for a space at the grand final. The teams are set a problem to solve using only the materials provided within a fixed time frame. The winning teams are those in each key stage group who have been judged to have best met the criteria set out in the problem. During the challenge, the students will develop their skills in problem solving, teamwork and practical science, whilst also embedding key employability skills such as communication, critical thinking and resilience. They will also learn about the importance of engineering and science in the world and will be given some ideas about related opportunities and careers that could be pursued. One member of the team may start the electric motor on the zip wire transporter by operating a switch. The motor switches off automatically when it hits the finishing point on here. Support then two seconds are taken away from the travel time. Surely the more you concentrate the funnel of the... Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. So actually so you we probably want the propeller further near the back. We stuff the post at the end though is really thick. Yeah. yeah. That's the only problem. Whereas if you've got a larger bit of foil, it's then going to hit the... Whereas with something like that, I think the split bit is just going to hit the post and stop. Because of it... Like, um, so when, when it goes to the post, it's not the post. Push like straight downwards. And then that will disconnect the circuit. And Can you use our phones to time it? Yeah. Okay. Are you sure this is going to work? No. Swift, so. And the battery is hidden here. What time are we planning on having our testing? Um, well, I would probably minutes. aim for 40 minutes. Just one, just we can put all the wire in the um, the motor bit, the bit where the motor attaches to the wheel. We'll just put it through one side, and then see, see if we have two. We can cut the left one short, and then attach it there to have support. Okay. Instead of having going over, because the wheel has to be free moving. Remember that. Yeah. That way. Yeah, so it will cut it. It will cut through it like well, that. If I if I turn it sideways, yeah, like that. Use more than one, then we can extend. So should we do a box? Um, a box is not the point of end. Yeah. But we, I think we definitely, definitely, definitely need those two. No, I just suggest that's yeah. Different. Yeah. That's, that's almost that's almost below the wire. No, I I don't think. Be... Can't maybe one more. If you move that, you don't need extra wire then. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that works. We need yeah. to tape it somehow. Tape it. That's good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But don't forget, it can only be, it can only be 15 centimetres. So we can use that for two feet. That, that should be round. Uh, so what's the, what's the full measurement yeah, along here? They'd be like... Right on the edge. Do not lose that. Yeah, hold it and wait, put it up to the black mark. Is that what you're starting? The white... Do we have it that way or that way? that doesn't Which way the vibration's going? Let's just try. No, it's too slow. It's a bit slow. Though, yeah, we can have more weight. With, from, with blue tack around stop there. Stop it, boys. The engine doesn't smash up the motor. Yeah, stop it. Just stop. Well, um, I support a lot of charities and I like to do something that's education based. And I particularly like Satra because they are involved in the STEM um, subject matters. And I think this is a real challenge and I like to see them working as a team. I panic when I look at the clock and they've only got 10 minutes left and there's not much going on, but they normally make it. So um, I find it fun for me. I like to watch them get through it. And I like to actually see that a really good school, um, uh, who perhaps isn't at the highest level of education, wins these things. And I really like that. I think they don't realise when they start it, when they start putting this thing together, how difficult it's going to be. They've got to learn to work together as a team, which sounds trite, but in this situation that's absolutely true, and no one can take over. And I think the boy-girl mix is very interesting. So I, I think they get a lot of it, it's a challenge, and they have to actually do something at the end of the day, which is great. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. It's actually quite fast. Wow.
I found it wonderful actually, thank you. It's been really great. Uh, today's been difficult at first because we didn't know if we wanted to use wind or vibration to make our propeller move at first. Have you had a test? Yeah, we've had three and it's really difficult. Yeah. They, it, the furthest it got was our second one, but our first one went faster, so it's pretty similar. And then we're trying to add weight on so it goes right to the end. Okay, apart from that, have you had a good time? Yeah. yeah. Fun. With your school, have you enjoyed the day? Yeah, we yeah. enjoyed it a lot. What did you like most about it? I think, um, I think, I think how kind of uh, how there are so many different solutions to the problems that there could have been. It's nice to see the different uh, the different outcomes that pe that people yeah. have come up with. What is your time? Uh, uh, six. 6.5, 6.10. It's not the fastest. 6.3. How, how has the day gone overall? Uh, this, okay. The yeah, same challenges. A uh, few times that we people did. are being kind of stressed. <laughs> but uh, overall, it's, to make it more it's gone really, really well, actually. Yeah, better than I expected. Let's just see them already. Wait, he stays three, he stays four, he stays five, nine. Okay. It's yeah, very important yeah, that you stay with your team. This is an environmental uh, thing. So it depends on the level of the I think it might be the motor. Look at the front. No! Why is it not working? tonight at the Satro Problem Solving Challenge Grand Final and the standard has been absolutely superb. You know the uh, task that was set was relatively simple um, but actually we've seen quite a wide range of approaches to solving the fundamental problem of getting a, some kind of uh, device down uh, a wire. There have been approaches that involve vibrating uh, the, the transport mechanism and there have been approaches which involve a fan and blowing it down. Um, and the other two major issues that uh, teams have faced is the structural integrity of their devices and also the friction between their device and the wire. So there have been quite a number of different dimensions to solving this problem. Well, one of the reasons that I love the problem solving challenge is that you're able to spend some time talking to the teams. And what I try and get across is that it is very rarely in my experience the best engineers who win this challenge. It's actually got something to do with teamwork, and planning your work, so project management. There's a whole range of skills that are required in order to do very well at this challenge. There's obviously too much to go after in only 90 minutes, so you have to really think about what you're doing and which problems you're going to solve and why. So it's, a, it's an all-round challenge for, for the competitors. And for such young people, they really embrace that and get to the meat of the problem very quickly. It's very impressive.
great score of 948 points at their heat. But the winners with a total of 1,088 points, the key stage five team from ACS Combo International School. Come on now. There's a key to photos, getting closer than you think is comfortable. <laughs> the George Abbott School. Well done. Well done. Well done. The Halliford School. Well done, Halliford. Well done. That's a good school. The Whitgift School. see you again next year and probably some of us employing you in the future. Thank you. Have a safe trip though.